Good morning to all. Today's lecture is about basics of research methodology. Uh, first, we have to uh, understand what is research. So, research is uh, you have to uh, uh, review the existing literature available before uh, starting the research work. So, once you know about the existing literature, about what is happening in uh, what kind of research is happening in uh, media studies. So, in my case, uh, the, our department is Viscom, so uh, we deal with uh, media. So, first you have to go and search in the internet and look for related articles. Once you come to know about what's happening, what kind of research is happening in, in your area, in your country and what kind of research is going on in and around the world, then you can have a, come to a conclusion about your area of uh, interest. Once you choose your uh, topic, after that you can go deep into the, uh, into the area of your interest. So, we will see uh, what are the protocols to be, what are the basic protocol or procedures to be followed while uh, conducting a research work. So, I will go and carry on the slides. So, before setting up the variables, first uh, you should, you should have a, a good knowledge about your topic. For that, you have to search in the internet and uh, look for all the available literature. You should do a thorough review of literature. Once you do the review of literature, you will have an understanding about what kind of research is going on. Once you are clear about the topic, after that, you can um, you can think about uh, considering the variables. So, there are two types of variables. One is the independent variable and the other one is the dependent variable. So, what is the uh, ind independent variables? Uh, they all uh, help independent variables, they all influence the outcome of your research. So, so what is the dependent variable? So, uh, when you choose your topic, you will be framing a, uh, you will, uh, you will be framing a heading for it. So, what you are about to find is called the dependent variable. So, so uh, at the end of the research, you will be finding a result and that result will be uh, referring to your dependent variable. So, what are, uh, next comes the independent variable. So, the independent variables say examples like age, sex, your uh, uh, education, educational qualification, your experience, your experience with system, your experience with uh, your computer knowledge, uh, your uh, prior experience, your knowledge about computers in your school days, all these can be considered as independent variables. So, all these independent variables, they have an effect on their uh, on the on the dependent variable which you are going to fi find at the end of your research work. So, so this is the basic difference between independent and dependent variable. So, what you are about to find at the end of the research is the dependent variable and what are all the factors that will help you to find the final outcome are all the independent variables. So, these uh, independent variables will have an effect on the uh, dependent variable based on that you will be getting the final result. So, result could be either positive uh, positive or negative but because uh, there is no nothing called uh, negative result or positive result. Any result can be can be is totally acceptable when it comes to research work. So, here is the dependent variable. So, after once you are clear with the independent and dependent variables, so these are some of the examples given for the independent and dependent variables. So, once you are clear, clear with what you are about to find which is the dependent variable, after that based on the literature review, you can find the various kinds of independent variables that are about to influence your, uh, influence the findings of your research, that is your dependent variable. So, um, after that you have to go for the survey. So, now you have a clear understanding about what you are about to find and what are the factors that are going to influence the your dependent variable. These dep independent variables are, can be formulated by you based on the review of literature. So, after that once you are uh, once you have uh, uh, analyzed the various independent variables that are going to influence your study, after that you go for the survey. So, the first step in survey is you have to, um, the first step, uh, yeah. So, first step in survey is you have to frame a questionnaire for it. Questioner, uh, once you frame the questioner, uh, you can go for your uh, data collection work. After that, after that, uh, but before that, you have to be, you can, you can do your research in two ways. So, one is uh, you can formulate your hypothesis, the another one is research questions. So, what is a hypothesis? Any supposition or proposition which you are making at the initial part of the study without any evidence. You are simply making a proposition but without any supporting evidence that is called the hypothesis. So, uh, once you are uh, ready with your all the independent values that are going to influence your dependent variable, you can, uh, you can find out whether the whether your proposition or supposition which you have mentioned in the hypothesis is true or false whether 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 your hypothesis is correct if your hypothesis is correct then uh, then your null hypothesis will be rejected 
say if your null hypothesis is rejected then automatically your hypothesis is accepted so that is that is into like once you go into the analysis this framing uh, null hypothesis all these part uh, comes into effect next is research question so another way uh, another thing is sometimes you, know, you cannot answer all the questions by your uh, by uh, all the relevant qu questions uh, through your hypothesis in that way sometimes you have to add some other extra information which you got through your uh, survey so that all this extra information can be uh, uh, applied into this research questions. It's like uh, you can ask a question, like you can ask a general questions, and uh, for all these questions, the survey method might not be giving you the necessary answers. In that case, you can formulate research questions and add some extra information to your research work so that it will give more weightage to a final result of your research. So, so after framing the hypothesis, you can go on with the analysis part. So. How do you test your hypothesis? Hypothesis can be tested through quantitative method. So there are two ways of analyzing your results. One is quantitative method, another is qualitative uh, research method. So quantitative research method means dealing with numbers, mathematical calculations. That is mostly in social sciences we use statistical SPSS package for uh, for uh, quantitative analysis. So we have various tools like uh, various statistical tools which we commonly use are t-test, ANOVA, post hoc test. Then in ANOVA if you see one way ANOVA is there, two way ANOVA is there, then we do correlation then we do uh, regression, SEM analysis. SEM analysis is a little higher level uh, statistical method. Commonly we use t-test ANOVA. When you compare two variables and uh, and when you want to find out whether, this, whether these two variables will influence a dependent variable, at that point of time you use t-test. ANOVA when, when you have multiple variables and whether you want to see whether all these multiple independent variables have an influence on the dependent variable, at that time you go for ANOVA. So these are the basic um, statistical tools used. So once you have done the statistical analysis, if it is found to be statistically significant at that point, the null hypothesis which you add. There only initially we frame the hypothesis. So when the statistic, uh, based on the statistical uh, result, if the result is found to be statistically significant, then the null hypothesis will be rejected, which means your actual initial hypothesis is accepted. So this is a way to do the basic, basic way of doing your research work. Apart from that, you can do the, your research work in qualitative method also. Qualitative method is all about conducting interviews. You directly, there are, for example, like there are method called focus group interview. So you you frame a time schedule for conducting the interview. You directly go to the you directly go to the uh, uh, to the you you distribute the survey questionnaires to the various respondents. You go to the for in quantitative method, you distribute the survey questionnaire to the respondents. When it comes to qualitative method, you directly meet the respondent and you ask them questions, just like uh, interviewing them. Once you interviewing them, usually as a researcher, you are expected to record the uh, all the audio interviews. So that at the time of uh, your final YOOC, when you are defending your thesis, sometimes you may be asked to play your, uh, your audio recording, so that it will be acting as a supporting evidence for your uh, research work. So. This is the basic way of doing, uh, carry on with your research work, starting from your MA to PhD level. So finally, uh, if, if you are in the discussion part, you can uh, suggest something like uh, based on the results which you got through your research, you can suggest something to the, if it is a government level, uh, if it is a state government or central government project or if it is, a, if your topic is of real importance to the people of the society, you can suggest some, uh, uh, you can give some suggestions to the a government so that it will be very helpful because these are all social science research at the end when based on the suggestions given by the researchers it will be very helpful for the government to frame policies which are people friendly so these are the basic protocol involved in uh, research uh, research methodology thank you